Hey Virgo, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your end of August general love reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And hope that you all are doing well. So Virgo, as you can hear, I am, my voice is kind of going in and out. This past weekend, I celebrated my 20-year high school reunion, so I was singing, dancing, having a grand old good time, and I lost my voice, so I'm just getting it back. I'm drinking my tea here and there throughout, you know, breaks throughout the readings, so be patient and bear with me. We're still going to get your messages today, okay? So, Virgo, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was Shape of You by Ed Sheeran. I'll leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. Now, first of all, Mr. Ed Sharon happens to be an Aquarius. So some of you guys could be dealing with Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the visual. Also picked up Strong Fire, so Leo, Sag, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus could be um, an individual of interest also. But overall, the message I got with, first of all, somebody's infatuated with you. Like, they find you just extremely attractive, or you may feel like this about someone I'm going to tell you, if you are single and you meet someone out in a social gathering, because he does start the song off saying, like, you should never really try to seek love in a club or in a bar, but I always end up there. If you are out and about socializing and you meet someone out in the social setting, like a bar or a lounge or a club, I feel like this person is going to immediately be smitten with you, like immediately. Like everything about you just turns this person on or you could flip it. You could feel like this about this person. Okay, so let's see what we get for you guys today for... Virgo, and I almost said Libra, so some of you guys could definitely be dealing with a Libra, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, okay? Um, for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, and the visuals, okay? Bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Cups. Now, you guys know Ten of Cups is my Shirley and Barbara, because here go that woman to woman sitting down talking, but what I'm getting right here, especially with these cups over them, you could be out and about socializing, like I said, with the song that I picked up, you could be out and about socializing, having a good time with family and friends, just toasting it up, having drinks, and I feel like you may meet someone. And I feel like it's like going to be an immediate connection. You are this person's first and last initial could be X, C, M, N, Y, U, K, H, or uh, J. Yeah, I'm getting J. I just heard Justine or Justin. Jessica also, okay, I'm hearing Jennifer. So, yeah, okay, yeah, because I just heard Jennifer's body. And, you know, that's a movie. I've never watched it, but it's a movie with um Jessica Alba, not Jessica Alba, um, what's that girl's name? She's beautiful. Megan Fox. Um, and I don't know what her zodiac sign is. If you guys know, leave it in the comment section below. Cause that may be somebody's sun sign, you know, that um plays a role in this situation. Was it Jessica or Jennifer's bar? Jennifer or Jessica? It's one of those J's. I know I've seen it. Matter of fact, I was scrolling last night. I don't watch TV, but I was scrolling looking at something on Prime, and it, it showed up on the prime videos now i do know about that movie Ooh, okay it's interesting because i do know about that movie um from what i read in the description her body was inhabited by some type of demon or something like that so i'm not getting it there's something that crazy it could just be like lust like something about this person is like you you feel very lusty about this individual also when i'm thinking about demon it makes me think about devil and the devil and tarot is capricorn so a capricorn could be involved i said capricorn to write up on her you you got the page of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, some of you guys, this person could be a Capricorn. Very interesting. Okay, so we're gonna go through the deck until we get you guys major arcana, which happens to be the Hermit. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and we'll get clarifiers for both for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. Some of you guys are definitely gonna meet someone else socializing if you're single, and if you know that you're not the type of person who likes to go out and about. Um, you know, partying and things like that. Because it doesn't have to be a club. Like, I'm very social, but I don't do clubs. Like, I'll go to a nice lounge or, you know, a little social bar or something like that. If you do stuff like that, I feel like you're going to meet somebody there. And then, if you, again, if you know that you're not the social type, you're more introverted, somebody may, um, a friend of a friend may connect you with someone. They may see something on social media and send you this person's link and tell you to check this person out. I'm just getting that there's some type of connection here. As soon as I say social media, I'm just looking at the world. The world makes me think about the World Wide Web. So you could, again, social media somehow, you could be connected to someone for some of you all also. Bottom of the deck, you got the Seven of Cups. Illusion, confusion, feeling scattered, and also having options. Because there's a, something in every single one of these cups. So somebody could have options when it comes to love. Wow, here's your major arcana. You guys have options. Yeah. 
So this is the card. <laughs> And it's at the very top, so this is going to happen soon. Some of you guys also could have met someone in July because you have seven. You could have met this person in July while you were out drinking because, again, you have all these cups here. Um, socializing, just having a good time. And then I said, I feel like somebody could be obsessed with you, like literally like infatuated. Because if you notice right in the middle, there's this flower. and You have something in, oh, there's a rose. You have something in every single cup, but this is the only one that's glowing. So somebody could just like already have all the feels for you. Somebody could have been born in the year of the dragon. So you would have to look that up. You or this love interest or person of interest. Right behind you, you have the Knight of Swords and then the Death card, Scorpio energy. So somebody could be jumping into something very, very quickly. What's interesting also is that somebody could be jumping into something very quickly. And it may end just as quick. Or somebody had, may have just recently got out of a relationship. Yeah, see right here, somebody could be keeping their options open. Because the Seven of Cups definitely talks about keeping the options open. And some of you all may find out that this person is, you know, just out here meeting random women or men at the bar and you may end this situation. I'm just getting the energy that somebody is like, yeah, somebody definitely is keeping options open. I can't make this, you know, when I look at these energies together, it definitely gives me the vibe of somebody keeping their options open. Some of you guys definitely could be dealing with a water sign. Strong Scorpio here. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Could be done with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. And I did say Aquarius because the all you know the um artist Ed Sharon, he's Aquarius. And it's interesting, yeah, because even right here on the shield, it looks like that could be an A. Somebody definitely could be dealing with Aquarius or someone whose first, middle, last initial is A E. A E V or H. First middle last initial of you or this person. I feel like this is someone who came in very quickly. Did you see how this is like somebody who just kind of jumps off the bridge? There's nothing for him to land on. Somebody jumps into situations very quickly. Or this person just came out of the blue unexpectedly because he's he has this face shield on. You don't know what this person looks like. So it was like this is an unexpected meeting with you and this individual. Also, someone could secretly, because again, you can't see what he looks like. Somebody could secretly just like really have it bad for you. But I'm going to say in this situation, I really have to say this for some of you all, somebody is definitely putting on like they're, you know, like they, they want you and just only you, but they may definitely be keeping their options open. Like this may be someone who frequents the bars and frequents the lounges, you know, just trying to meet different people. Bottom of the deck, you keep getting a lot of cups. So if you're not dealing with a water sign... I definitely feel like this is someone who goes out and socializes a lot. And some of you guys, because he's not happy with what's happening in front of him, he has tunnel vision focusing on those three cups. For some of you all, you may find out that this person is definitely into um, entertaining third parties. You know, you got three cups here and of the four cups, he's focusing on these three. So some of you guys may have, okay, you may have been really smitten with someone and come to find out that this person is definitely out here just keeping their options open. Some of you all may end up telling this person about this self like when you find out. It's weird and this is very specific, but I'm also hearing that some of you guys could, like if you're talking to your girlfriend, because go back, girlfriend or your homie, whoever, if you go back with that 10 of cups, there's like Shirley and Barbara sitting there having that conversation. Like if you talk to your friend like, oh yeah, I met this person, like how girlfriends or homies do or whatever, like, oh yeah, I met this person, you show this person a picture of them on their social media. Your friend or associate may know this person, like, oh yeah, he was trying to holler at so-and-so the other day. Like, I feel like somebody may know this person already that you, you just started talking to. Or there's like, this person has a bit of a reputation. That's part of the deck. You got three. You keep getting all this three energy also. Yeah. You got three of wands. Some of you guys are turning your back on this individual, moving towards the future, towards somebody else. Because you may find out this person is like a bit of a juggler. I do get player vibes. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I'm getting player vibes. Like this person could frequent the lounges. Yeah. This is someone who is always out and about socializing, trying to meet new prospects, you know. But initially coming in, it's like this person is just like, their mouth game is golden. Like they're talking about how much they want to rock with you and things like that. But mm, this person is hiding something, you know. And I feel like if you address this person, they may be a little combative or defensive. Because again, he's a knight. Knights are either going into battle or coming out of battle. He looks like he's ready to go into battle because that sword is up. You all, you guys can also live in an area where it's where there's um, hawks. Eagles, mm -hmm. hawks or eagles, you can live in that area. 
Ace of Swords, true clarity, knowledge, wisdom, and victory. And then a Six of Swords, some type of four movement. Somebody came towards you with their strongest game, or at least they tried to. That's what I'm getting. Bottom of the deck, you, yep, you guys will watch me shuffle. I shuffle a lot. So it's like something that somebody's trying to feed you, you're not taking. You see how the arms are crossed, not accepting that cup. Some of you guys are, you kind of feel like this person is on bullshit, or you may have heard something about a new prospect. Let's get a clarifier for the Seven of Cups for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Hmm. Yeah, somebody's not being truthful. So you got the page of swords reverse. Sword up, yes, sword down, no. Pages, communication, and mental. Also, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And that's what I'm saying. When you get in this clarifying that, that's definitely talking about somebody who's keeping their options open, but they're not being honest. Even right here, he's not even facing his decision. Like, it's not going this way. He's not even facing it. This is someone who has, like I said, a gold, a tongue of gold, like a gold mouthpiece. But they're definitely not being honest about something. Ooh. I can't make this up. So you got the seven of swords in reverse. Seven of swords upright is lie, cheat, manipulate, sneak, conniver, deception. In reverse, it's like shit. No. This person lies about you're finding out the truth. Yeah, I said that. Some of you guys are finding out. Some of you guys are pulling that mask off. And you're finding out that this person is full of shit. So even with the song, in love with the shape of you, I feel like definitely this this person is sexually motivated. Like they find you very attractive and they want to be with you intimately. But they're lying about their intentions, and I feel like you guys are going to find out. I always, you know how you have the saying, like, caught red-handed, but you see the feet? Like, this person is always in and out of somebody's life, always keeping their options open. I'm going to tell you right now, be mindful. If you out and about socializing, I feel like you, some of you guys could cross paths with a player, like a major player at that. Let's clarify your Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords for Virgo. Some will rise in Venus. Like, you want to say Aquarius. So, some of you guys definitely, because you do have, you know, swords here. So, some of you guys definitely dealing with Aquarius. So, someone that you met in Aquarius season. And I know that was a while ago, but somebody's keeping their options open for sure. Which is interesting because you have, you're starting off with the seventh, and we're in the eighth month, and um, Aquarius season begins in January, right? So, seven months, because we're in the eighth month. And January is the first month of the year. So some of you guys can have met this person for seven seven months ago. Hmm. Again, let's get a clarify for the Knight of Swords. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. Okay. You guys are watching it. Three of Swords. And then you have the King of Wands. And then you have the Three of Wands in reverse. Three of Wands are right talking about looking towards the future, waiting for your ships to come in. Um, but in reverse, it's like, it's not a future with this situation. Cause this person is always looking for the, another option. Cause you see how he's not looking directly at us. He's looking elsewhere and he's holding that wine. You guys know that wine is that phallic sexual energy. So it's like, you may find out that this person came to your life very quickly. And just as quickly you found out that this person was a bit of a playboy or play girl. I'm definitely getting that vibe here. You're not going to get three of swords and, and that's not the case. Definitely, look at all your cards here. You guys definitely, outside of your major arcana, you only have one cup. So I feel like this person is emotionally manipulative. And then it's like they're, they're just saying whatever to get whatever. Because now I'm here with the, with the song Shape of You. This person is very attracted to you on a sexual level. And so I feel like they're being emotionally manipulative. It's like they just, they're talking the good talk so that they can get what they want. Now, that doesn't mean that they don't find you very attractive. I feel like this person is definitely obsessed with you, like, infatuated with you sexually. But I don't feel like they want anything more than, like, something intimate. It, it just looks like they're being manipulative and definitely not telling the truth. Look at this. These are these are your clarifiers. Nothing about that is, like, being truthful. That sword is down. Those swords are down. Their communication is not truthful. They're just jumping into something or trying to be... I feel like this is an impulsive person. Some of you guys have met an impulsive person. It's all good, though, because I feel like you guys have options. You know, I feel like even you have options. So it's like, okay, you learned the lesson with this. This person was a karmic. They came in and breezed out just as quickly as they breezed in. But I do feel like you guys are actually, even with the, the sound, not the sound, but the name of the song, Shape of You, is like something about you guys is very alluring. Like, you guys are very appealing at this time. People see you as very... Um, attractive look how beautiful that rose is like people find you attractive so it's like it won't take any time for you to you know 
connect with someone else who is more worthy. But it seems like this person, this person was full of shit. Definitely strong air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. Again, you could have met this person in Aquarius season or Gemini season. But I'm getting strong Aquarius here. For sure. Because <laughs> even look at this. You do literally have that A right there. I'm getting Aquarius energy for some of you guys. So even if this person's sun sign is Aquarius, again, their moon rising or Venus could be. Okay? So Virgo, sun, moon rising, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, take care. Bye.